Okay, so I've done two videos on this and I want to do one video that's to the point, you know, to save arguments and stress. Into gear, handbrake off, move your mats if needed. Undo all four bolts. Push as far forward as you can until you can see this hole. Okay, so it's worth mentioning at this point that this base you need to keep clean. Uh, as you can see, I'm not particularly great at this, but um, keep this clean and you can use some silicone spray to help with the um, movement of this. I'll put links in the description for some silicone spray, but that will help. So you're going to turn the seat anti-clockwise. And then when you get to this point, you're kind of pushing it that way and you just keep doing the seat wiggle and then handbrake on. And then turn the hazards off because you always catch the flipping button. <laughs> so when the seat is turned, it really opens up the space, but it can be a bit of a nightmare to get back. Um, trying to get it back in, in position. And this is why I did a second video, but I'm going to show you now how to get it back, okay? Now, obviously, if you've been camping or parked up for a while, you need to check you're still in gear and you need to check that your handbrake's off because it will have been put back on. So you're going to take your handbrake off, obviously checking you're in gear and you're not going to roll down the hill into someone. Now we do the chair wiggle again, going clockwise this time. So it's kind of just a bit of manoeuvring Okay? Okay, now this is the bit that I used to get wrong. We used to try and put the seat back holding the sides of the seat like this, and it's just oh, stressful. But we've learnt that the trick is to get your hands under here and just lift it slightly into position, and it is so much easier. And then you put your bolts down. Now it's worth putting all of your bolts down just a little bit first so you've got a bit of manoeuvring before you then tighten them fully. So you just need to do all four bolts making sure they're secure because that then makes it crash safe. So the benefit of having the Caravan's double swivel seat is you still have your two thin people seats and you have your storage. Now, at the minute, I've just got junk, but this is where we store our clothes if we're away for a week. Um, not a lot of clothes, to be fair, but this is where we store them. And it means, it means that when the seat is turned, you've still got access to your clothes on the other side when it's turned. So it really is worth having, but you've got to practice turning your seat so that you use it. Because we didn't use ours for a couple of years because it just stressed us out because we didn't know how to do it. But once we'd learnt how to get it back in position and put a bit of silicone spray, it, it's just so easy. So when you know, you know. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have, can you press the like button? And if you like this kind of content, we also share like adventures in our camper van um, and places that we visit, along with tips and tricks of using it. Um, so if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome too. But most of all, please put something in the comments, especially if I've saved any marriages from the stress of turning this seat. Thank you.